I was supposed to go back to South Africa on January 17. You're supposed to go back this year, January. Yes, sir. And you wanted to go. You found out he has canceled your. He has canceled my ticket. He went and do refund without telling me. Let the truth be told. I don't care if you're going to hate me on this video. Most of our Igbo men will not try. Now, looking at the story of this sister that you're about to watch, she's from South Africa. See, I told people that men, real men, men that are genuine, uh, sorry, women that are genuine, real women, I don't know. There are no much in the world. You can find a good woman anywhere in the world. But you have a woman that fits into what you want. Few, some of them are there to squander you. When they finish you, they move to the next object that is available. Uh -huh. So with this, I want you to take your time to watch this video. I'm not going to say anything. Let's watch it. You are the one? Yes. Okay, your name, where you come from, where you based, and what is the problem? My name is Nondumi So Punjani. I'm from South Africa. Welcome. But my husband and my kids are from Anambra State. Wow. Uli. Welcome, welcome, my sister. You are from South Africa? Yes, yes sir. sir. And your husband is from Anambra State. Anambra State. So what is the problem? Oh, my problem is everything started where we were in South Africa. We were living together for eight years. We were doing fine until put mark and louder your voice a bit. Up until last year something happened until last year something happened in south africa and nigerians they they started fighting shooting in each other i don't know what was the reason maybe he knows what the reason then he told me that Senate nigerians started fighting each other yes they are shooting each other in south africa then my husband told me that he's scared. He can't stay in South Africa again. He wants to come back to Nigeria. Then he went to my family. He went and told them that he wants to come back to Nigeria. He wants to change the country. So he would like me and our three children to join him. He wants to introduce me and the children to his family. My, children, my family never accepted because my husband never paid my purpose. But for me, because I know his problems, I know what business he's doing in South Africa, all what he's passing through, I, I respected his wish. I followed him to Nigeria. Uh, so your parents never accepted for you to follow him because he never paid your price? Yes, sir. And he never pay for children. Okay. So yes. how do you let her follow him? I followed him because he told me that uh, when he comes to Nigeria, he wants to change the country. What makes me to follow him is that before in South Africa, he has did a lot of things to me. He's, he has did a lot of things. So what came to my mind is that, okay, let me follow him. Because he want to, he want, he want his family to know me and the children. Let me follow him. So because I know that maybe if he change the country, go to another country, it might happen that I will not see him again. Okay. Because of that, you followed him here. Yes, sir. So what is the issue now that you followed him here? The issue, yes. Since we came here, I came to Nigeria last year, November. What makes me to come here? I find out I was supposed to go back to South Africa on January 17. Then I was preparing to go back. I find out that he has cancelled my ticket of flying back. You're supposed to go back this year, January. Yes, sir. And you wanted to go. You found out he has cancelled your... He has cancelled my ticket. He went and do refund without telling me. So now he has been struggling, trying to find money to buy the tickets flying back. But he don't have money. Before we come here, there is his uncle living in UK. He promised him that so because in South Africa there is nothing moving right for him. 
you should come back home. They will find something to give him so that you start another business. But since he came to his family, he never behaved well. He's fighting his family, doing wrong things in front of my children, abusing themselves. Then I decided that, no, I want to go back. I can't stand this. I can't let my children to face this suffer and watch all, all these things every day. So now I've been talking to him, trying to find money to go back to South Africa, but you don't have. That's why I came here, because I've been following this uh, ministry since, 20, since 2017. Okay. Because of it, you now came for Holy Ghost Court. Yes, sir. Are you following Zion from South Africa? Yes, sir. I'm in a group in South Africa. Two of you who introduced each other to Zion ministry. I always watch this um, on Facebook. You never introduced me. I saw you on Facebook. I started following. I fell in love with this is this ministry. I've been watching. I've been watching, watching, worshiping with him every Sundays in, in night open, open heaven. Okay, before you know him, you have been watching Zion. Yes, sir. Okay, give, give him, give your boyfriend microphone. Now, look at what your South African friend said. That two of you have born how many children? Three. Okay. Most three. Yeah. I, yeah. One. Now nah, wait, wait, wait. She said that two of you has born three children, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. And you have not paid her bride price. All right. Okay. I will start from the beginning. Yes or no? I will give you Mark to talk. Okay. Uh, wait. Have you paid her bride price? I was preparing to pay the bride price. That is not the question. Have you paid her bride price? I've went, I went to Switzerland. My brother, it's like you don't know me. Yes or no? Have you paid her bride price? No, sir. This is a simple question. Now, now, she stayed with you for, and she had three children for you. And when you told her that you people want to come here, she followed you against her family wish. That so far you did not pay her bride price. You don't have right over her. And she followed you against her family wish. So now here, she said that the time, she's not, she, she, she's not comfortable the way things are going in your family. And she wanted to go back to South Africa and she noticed that her ticket had been cancelled. So this is what she said. Now, what is your? Tell me your own side of the story. Put Mark in your mouth and be audible like her. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I go to the Hallelujah. Jira ke akwe. Go to the praise the Lord. Jira ke akwe Hallelujah. Oku apa kwa. Praise God. Let's listen to him. Okay. All right. Because I would like to speak English so that she will hear what I'm saying. All right. I traveled to South Africa May 19 to 15. By special grace of God, when I went to South Africa, I was doing very well because I'm self-employed. I was doing very well. I'm self-employed. So I was making CD, I said gospel music and movies and all that things. So in 2017, I met her in South Africa. So when I met her, we started dating. She has been very good to me. She, have a, she never have any problem with me. We are lived up to eight years since we have together. We have lived up to eight years. We have been living peacefully. I had my first son, Tuko Kadibia, in 2018. I had my second doctor in 2000 and the third one in 2003. So the way things are going in South Africa, Nigeria, it was about four years ago. Nigeria, they started shooting themselves. Even 
I was asking myself, what kind of a country is this? Even someone that received me in South Africa, they shot him about 18 bullets. Because like me, I was born and brought up in Oshudi. We were about seven that left. To be honest, we are about seven guys that left, that went to South Africa. I'm the only person that came back alive. So at the end of the day, I called my wife. I told him, you can see what has been happening in South Africa. I'm a twin. I'm a twin. And I don't want my blood to pour in South Africa. At the end of the day, after four years, they make peace. This we are going fine. We are living fine. We never have issue for even a day. So there is a certain time I called him. I said, Nondu, I would like to pay your bride price. Then his dad was alive. His, his daddy was alive. So his mom is a teacher. So at the end of the day, by then I was preparing to pay our bride price. Then they started killing each other. Nigeria, they started shooting again, killing each other. So all my plans got spoiled. So last year, about almost 216 Nigeria died. They shot in South Africa. Goes, so, uh -huh, so to the this, point. this, you know, so at the end of the day, I called her, I said, Nondu, you can see what is happening in South Africa now. I don't want to die. The best thing for me is that I will go back. I called her, I said, okay, let me change the country. She said, no. She started crying. She cried up to two weeks. She said, is this how I want to leave her? I said, no, why must I leave you? I have been good to you. We are living peacefully. We have never quarreled, even for one day. You know, as a man, I take care of my children, all their responsibilities. So I told her, let me travel. Let me leave South Africa. Let me travel to another country. She said, no, that wherever I'm going, that she cannot go with me because the love is very strong there. So at the end of the day, I said, okay, I must go and tell your parents because our parents, they are staying in Swaziland. So at the end of the day, we fly to Swaziland. I took my children, all of them, both my son and my two daughters with her. We fly to Swaziland. So I went to consult our parents. I told their parents that you people should see, see what is happening in South Africa, where I am, that I want to take my children back to Nigeria. You understand? At the end of the day, our mom said, okay, but I should give them time. They cannot think about it. So one of his brother is a medical doctor. That one said, no, you are not going to go with my sister. That Nigeria, they are eating people. I said, no, Nigeria are very good people. We are not eating people. That we are friendly. That nothing will happen to your daughter. Even when her dad was alive, before her father passed away, her father said, please, take good care of my daughter. I don't want my daughter to shed tears for one day. And that promise, her father, the last wish, her father said to me, I keep it up to today. So at the end of the day, I told the parents, they now say, okay, they will think about it. At the end of the day, I called, okay, I told her to call her mom. Let me know the feedback. At the end of the day, she called her mommy, they talked together. So at the end of the day, I started, I went to home affairs. So I processed their South African passport. Their passport came out. I processed their paper. So then I sell all my properties because the killing was too much. Even me, for me to come out, I'm scared for me to come out because everywhere, streets, everywhere was dry. You can't even see any Nigeria. Any Nigeria that came out is put aside. At the end of the day, I did everything. We left Durban because I reside in Durban. All as you know, Nathan. So we left Durban. We fly to Johannesburg. So from there, we book a ticket. I did everything. We book a ticket. We did everything. So they fly. Because during then, it was November. Because I supposed to issue visa for them. Because from South Africa passport to Nigeria, you must apply a visa. So at the end of the day, we find out that now Ghana and South Africa is a free visa. So at the end of the day, I say, okay, mama, see what is going on now. You people will follow through Ghana and land in Nigeria. So from Ghana, oh no, you people will follow from um, South Africa to Ghana, from Ghana to Nigeria. That is how they came back. They came back before me. I escorted them in the airport. I put them in the flight with my three kids. She came alone. And I said, okay, let me hustle for my own flying ticket. So January 15th, 
I arrived in Nigeria. From there, I stay. I spent Lagos two days because all my mind was towards my family because I love my family so much. Oh boy, what is the so problem? At the end now? of the day, I travel to village. When I travel to village, the money I gave my dad, you know, for someone to travel abroad, abroad is not easy because over there, even my kids, I put them in private school. I pay the school fees every month. Even house rent there, I pay it every month. So there is a money I gave my dad to keep for me. So my dad used the money and put it in a part of a house that he was building. When I came back, I asked my dad, what of the money I gave you? My daddy was telling me stories. And I said, my dad, you know, I'm not the first son. This is the money I suffered. This is the money I suffered. I gave you for you to keep for me. You know, I got a family. I'm not the first son. You don't need to put this money in the house that you are building. At the end of the day, I was hungry, to be honest, because I know what I passed through in South Africa, both the winter, both the sun, both the everything. So at the end of the day, I started having misunderstanding with my dad, even to the extent my uncle in America, he promised me that he's not going to do anything for me in South Africa. When I come back to Nigeria, he's going to establish me. But because of my annoyance with my dad, I have, I quarrel with my dad because money I gave him is millions and he spent it. So even my uncle started supporting my dad. So from there, I was fighting with all the members of the family, which my wife is not happy. At the end of the day, I told my wife, Mama, please calm down. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. You understand? Let's stay in Nigeria. Let's work together. Everything will be fine. She started saying that, no, she can't stay in Nigeria. That she can't stay in Nigeria. So I'm the two of you are in Nigeria. What part of Nigeria are you two of you? Okay. I'm from Anambra State. Are you in the village? Yeah, we're in the Uli. Uli. Yes, sir. I'm from okay. Uli. Somebody yes, in South Africa. How can you be comfortable in a village? So at the end of the day, I told her everything will work for good. Calm down. Everything will work for good. You know, she's a South African. Someone that has never seen a darkness for a second she, since she was born. You know how it is. And I feel for her. So at the end of the day, she said that she can't stay. That she wants to go back. And I say, okay, you know what happened? My first son, because we are bearing the same name, Chukwu Kadibia, Chukwu Kadibia. I say, okay, my first son, I will leave him here in Nigeria because I want him to school. Because over there, they don't beat kids. Teacher doesn't have any right to beat kids. Because the way they train kids there is not the, the way they train kids in Nigeria. And I say, okay, my first son will stay here in Nigeria. You can take the two girls and go back. That when this is right, let me stay in Nigeria. Let me arrange myself as a man. When this gets better, I will come over there to join him. That is it. So on our way, we arrived to Lagos. Let me reconfirm their flying ticket. They said the ticket has been cancelled. That I never bought open ticket. So since then, she was angry with me. She was fighting with me. Okay. Madam, is that what happened? That is not what happened, sir. Okay, what happened? I called the lady. Put your mic on your mouth. Man. I called the lady. I used a Rwanda airline the time I was coming in and asked what happened to my ticket because the time I, talk, I spoke with you on January, confirming that my ticket is still okay. She told me that my ticket is okay, even though I missed my date on 17. I can still travel at any time. My ticket is going to expire on November this year. But she later told me that my ticket has cancelled. But my husband went there and cancelled my ticket. He did a refund. Then I asked him, why did you do a refund without telling me? Because before we came here, I told you that I will stay, but I will look things, how things are. If I am not comfortable here, I will go back with my kids. I never tell you that I came to Nigeria to stay for good. Then he never tell me what the reason, what makes him to cancel my flights. Okay, let me see the two kids first before. Let me see that uh, you came with the three children. Yes, but the one is in the village. Okay, the, let me see them first. Bring them. Um, we are going to do something now. 
when you make suggest back to us that something we are going to say how could you know um Okay, these are your two kids, right? Yes, sir. One is in the village. Yes, sir. A boy. You accepted to allow allow it for him, right? Yes, sir. Okay. This baby behaves like as if she knows me. Does she know me? She always to see you on my phone. Oh, she wash on your yes, phone. Yes. They, did they know how to speak English or South Africa? She knows how to speak English. Okay, um, what I want to say concerning this matter is that sometimes people don't know what they have until they lose it. This South African woman is a nice person. Very, very nice person. South African does not stay with one man. You hardly see them. I have been in Joburg. I know how they used to do. What kind of cry is this? Nigeria microphone. So, when you have a woman that he did not pay her bride price, when you don't pay the bride price of a woman, you don't have the right over that woman. And when this woman wants to come back to Nigeria, I know so, the family said no, but she followed you. Is it shows that she loves you. If it's me that have this kind of woman, I won't want to lose her for anything. Whatever I can do to keep her, to make her happy. Because she may go back to South Africa now after one year, two years, another man will come and carry her. She will not be waiting for you. If indeed you try to cancel her ticket, Without letting her know. That is not good. Because he didn't force her to follow you here. At that time, if she said she's not coming, you, nothing can make her. I know the law. Without her approval, I can't carry the children and cross the airport. True of us. You are true, sir. Uh -huh. So... What I see here is that the woman was uncomfortable with the life in the village. And I don't see anybody to be. It's not easy. South Africa, they don't use to take light. They have 24-7 electricity. Life is easy there. You carry her, it's not even like the two of you are in Oka or Were or Lagos or Abuja. It's inside the village with a pit toilet. Somebody who goes to the toilet in uh, WC started going in the teeth, they were pit. Uh, there is nobody to be. How many months did she spend with you there or weeks in the village? She came back, she came back on November 17th. She left Nigeria on November 17th. I came back in January. 15th. Oh, she since November six till months. now, almost six months. Yes, sir. Uh, the woman is nice. Don't lose this kind of woman. Uh, madam, I know why you want to go back because things are not in order. Right? Give her a microphone. Like, things are not stable for your, for your friend. Yes, why sir. I call her your boyfriend? Because she has not paid your bride price. Yes, you know that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what if you get something you are doing and maybe if he has a house in Lagos, will you still want to go back to Joburg? I know so many South African women that are here in Lagos. Some are, you know, where they're in Oka. Tan. For now, I'll say, I'll say I would like to go back because all the things I see, all what, the way he was behaving, I didn't expect this from him. The way he was behaving through his father, the way he's treating his father, I don't like it. So I was not comfortable at all. I'll say I would like to go back. 
maybe if I'm, I leave him for some time, he will come down, he will decide what he want to know in his life. And it's not easy to say you will leave him for some time. He may go back to South Africa now. One Igbo man will come and you will forget this one. I will not forget him. He's the father of my children. Anybody him is fighting. He say he want to go back to South Africa. And you may not forget him because the children will always remind you of him. But you may not end up marrying him. I will marry him, sir. Hmm. You're a nice person anyway. Um, I don't know. And for you willing it, it's okay. Let the boy stay. But in you have one cage in the way I can walk in now. If you don't know why I'm wrong. Daddy, to be honest with you, because you are more up on the mook and last. Speak English. Okay. Daddy, to be honest with you, I'm fighting for my life. What of all I'm on South Africa? Ask them, I'm taking good care of them hundred percent. They never lack anything for one day. Even my children's school fees, I pay it every month. As rent every month. Yeah, I'm have my So, daddy, I'm fighting for my life. What of Abu Laba will South Africa? Or can see where Lala South? That, that is not what we are saying. Now, yeah. now, for you to say this one should stay. This yes. one, go with this one. Does it mean it don't value these two? Daddy, daddy, to be honest, even I told her, Mama, you know I love you. We are spent. I love you so much. Which how do she know you love her? Yeah. With this kind of beer. Even even on Nigeria over there in South Africa. How do you call? love her? And that, the way you talk to your father is not one of the things making her angry is that the way you behave to your father. Daddy, what she did for me, I've never seen a South African woman who can do it. Even people over there, they are asking me, where did I went to do to do? I told them no. That's I told them that. Okay, uh, woman. What of if I help, if I support to get a house for you in Lagos here, and you start small work, will you still want to go, or you just want to reach and come back? Because I don't want this relationship to scatter. I don't want this relationship to scatter. I know your boyfriend have done something that you don't like. I want two of you. The love you have for him that made you to come back, even when he want to say, okay, let the boy stay. You are willingly chose you're a nice person. If I say, okay, let me support to get house for you in town here, where there is light, where you can be doing something. Um, will you still want to go? Or will you promise me you will go and come back? I want to hear from you. I hear what you are saying, say. I can do what you are saying because I have a professional work. I mean, you say what? I have a professional work doing it my hands. I'm a, I'm doing salon work. You are doing salon work. Yes. Sir. So you can also do salon in Lagos, yeah. My problem say is that, like I said before, my parents they never allow me to come, but I came. So if I'm not, it's because since January they have been disturbing me, calling me. Ask me, where are you? When are you coming back? Because you say you're going to come back from January. What are you still doing there? So I don't know whether they will allow me to stay or not. Because they never allow me before. So if I tell them that I'm not coming back and I'm going with them and I never do anything, it's not good. I don't know. They will not allow me. Okay. You mean that when you go back to South Africa, they may not allow you to come back? They will allow me to come back. But for now, they're expecting me to come back. But oh. for me to come back, they, they want him to do the right thing before coming here. And that yes. is that is wonderful. Now he's a, even if even if he has money now to come and pay the bride price, how will he, it be done? He's afraid of going to so that they will not kill him. So what will you say about that one? They won't kill him, say he knows since he was there, I've been protecting him. They won't kill him. Okay, I, I love this marriage. Your husband will tell me what he will use to pay your bride price. I will support him to come and pay. Then when he pay, I will still want you to, if, you are, if he paid and he's not comfortable there. This one, he said that seven of them traveled there and the only one is alive. If he wants to come, you can come and let us. It's okay. 
if, if you are doing hairdressing here in Lagos, you can make big money. You can make big money. So, for you to say that you want to reach South Africa, I won't say no, you should not go. It's good for you to reach home to see your people. After all, he has not paid your bride price. But I beg you also to come back. I will come back soon. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Even the way I speak to my father, I promise you when I go back to the village, I will reconcile with everyone. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. You know I love you. Please. You know I love you so much. I've Madam, he's begging love. you. Please forgive me. I love you with all my heart. You know, since how many years we have been staying together, I never offended you. I've never hurt you for one day. Please forgive me. I love you. And I on the check in. Please. My darling, I will never leave Please. you. Please. I will keep on Please. loving you. Please. Please forgive me, please. You know I love you. Oh my God! I promise you that I will never marry you. I will never leave you. Please forgive me. I will keep on loving you. Please forgive me. 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 Please, I beg you, name of God. I will never leave you. I will keep on loving you. Please, 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 please,
Uh, <clears throat> you have watched the video you know if you really actually listen to this young man's story it has not been easy correct but there's a way you follow your fa see there's a way you treat a woman and some other doors we opened for you women are spirits they are not like human like they're not like men because when a man is sleeping that is how god brought them out <laughs> so how many of you know that injection that if they want somebody want to do surgery they will give you the injection you will sleep off that is the injection they gave adam they gave adam adam slept off when he wake up they don't finish the surgery you know looking at the story of this man you cannot tell me because of what happened to you psychologically you start ravigulating your father listen to me many of us have gone through a lot Many of us have gone through tough time. Do you understand? Many of us have gone through that level that. Now you're away. Now you're away. Go. <laughs> many of us have gone through that level. See, many of us, some people are still in that level. But it doesn't result you to start talking to your parents anyhow or your wife. Cherish when you see one. You people are the reason why some men are still single because when they see your relationship is not enough to encourage them. When they see what you are doing, how you treat people, people's daughter, not knowing that you're going to give birth to your own. How do you expect when you don't treat somebody's daughter well, they will do your daughter well? After you'll be telling your daughter, look for a good man. Are you a good man? That is just a question. But I'm so happy that this was able to, you know, but for me, anyway, Daddy did his best, but if not because of Evangelical Boko be interfering in this matter, this matter is gone. How many of you agree with me? This home is gone. How many of you agree with me? Agree with me? Let me see you on the comment section. God bless you. Thank you for watching. My name is Remenem Hallelujah. The comments are on first. Bye bye for now.